Hi, welcome to New America's Video Blog. I'm your host, Jim Jockel. Today we're going to talk about a new selling report by analyst Cumulus Ding, FRTB, and the upcoming renaissance in the market of risk management. And joining me today for this discussion is Edomorph CEO Brian Sentence. Brian, how are you? Very well. Thank you very much, Jim. So you were profiled in this report alongside of New America's, um, and arguably, um, you know, uh, Cumulus has called it the renaissance in market risk management. Some people have called it for the entire rewrite, but as an enterprise data management company, uh, you uh, have an interesting solution to what is vastly becoming the biggest challenge over the next four years. Why don't you give us a little bit of a description of Xenomorph and the role in which you play with FRTB? Yeah, I guess one of the most fundamental challenges of FRTB is um, the management of all of the data and analytics and, and bringing all those together. Um, and so we feel that we're um, uniquely positioned in terms of our expertise in time series, uh, integration with pricing models and analytics from good folks like yourselves, um, to bring all these data sets uh, together to allow the risk managers, um, the technology guys to more configure uh, FRTB compliance rather than have to build everything out from scratch. We're uh, sort of with some of the clients that we're working with on FRTB at the moment, we're, we're sort of seen as, uh, in my view or the feedback I've received, is more of an accelerator to actually get towards compliance. So in looking at this report, I think it, what became clear was from a vendor solution, there isn't one silver bullet to solve FRTB. And that given the complexity of infrastructures within banks, that more point to point and solving these problems uh, that can adapt to a risk architecture is going to be uh, the critical path forward. In terms of market data management, where are some of the key areas that the clients that or banks that you're working with, where are they starting? What's the best starting point? places in addressing some of these challenges? Well, I guess un underpinning the whole of FRTB that it, it fits within the auspices of, of BCBS 239 compliance. So, you know, that's a big document about, fundamentally about, um, no pun intended, about uh, data management and actually having the data quality and the data lineage and, and the ability to go back to where did you get that data from. So that's a foundation that should sort of lie beneath the actual FRTB implementation. But coming to the specifics of FRTB itself, you've got a variety of things going on. Most obviously from maybe on the time series side, you've got um, things like um, modelable and non-modelable risk factors with some of the requirements to look at um, how liquid is a, a particular factor that you're looking at in the market, a, whether or not it's got enough uh, and frequent enough observable data. There's things like the movement to expected shortfall, um, where you're dealing with more at the edges of statistical distribution, more the, the higher moments of a di statistical distribution. With a lot of data sensitivity at that point. Uh, yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah, errors, uh, errors on that data, uh, you know, uh, sort of multiply through that process. So that that's there. And then you know, there's a variety of challenges. I mean, you've got all the good work that you guys do in the area of XVA. Um, there's lots of work to be done on, on P&L attribution, uh, bringing together all of these systems. We've been doing uh, a lot of work on not just uh, the management of data within our own uh, market data management security master system, but also the interrogation of existing databases and the different silos for the different asset classes to try and bring all those together. Um, so th there's multitudinous challenges coming up and, you know, a, a, a huge part of it is data, a huge part of it is analytics, but as you suggested with the start of the question, it's got to be down to the specifics of the client and, you know, the, the, the situation and the business that that client is in as to what's the best solution. So uh, one of the other questions is always there's a timeline. We're looking at 2019, which means really running things in parallel all the way starting back in 2018. Uh, we're now coming to the end of 2016. Decisions need to be made. Um, tell me about, I know, I know from a numerics perspective, you can look at numerics.com, but from a Xenomorph perspective, 
Jared, tell me about some of the implementation in, 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 in terms of working directly with your solution to help onboard you know, and deal with some of these challenges. Um, we've done a, a, a lot of work in the area, as I suggested, in terms of the liquidity side of things and looking at time series and building out more out-of-the-box functionality for, for our clients to um, look at all of the risk factors that um, you know they're trying to incorporate into their models and, and, and actually be able to classify things a lot quicker and uh, a lot you know a, a, a lot more straightforwardly than if they were actually starting from scratch so that's one area um, the data quality side of things is pervasive throughout all of the data sets that are being used which goes right through from static data um, through to the market data side of things, the positional data, and you know, kind of your kind of area, but the kind of derived data, the kind of calculations. The the key part of all of that has got to come together. Again, it comes back to your point that there isn't one out of the box solution for a, a you know a large institution to solve this problem. You've got to have systems um, that are flexible enough adaptable enough to be able to support all these different asset classes, to be able to support all these different kinds of calculations, and indeed all the different types of data involved. Well, Brian, thank you so much for joining us today, and arguably this is going to be one of the biggest challenges in the market. Uh, analysts have uh, suggested that billions will be spent uh, in terms of solving this new market risk challenge uh, that is FRTB. If you're interested in a copy of the Selling Report, please visit numerics.com, and you can uh, download it there. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. And thanks for joining.